After two years of coasting to the finish line, Max Verstappen has finally admitted that other teams have caught up to them, and he's ready to bump heads with anyone that stands in his way. Does this mean we'll be seeing the old Max on track more often? Let's see what he has to say about it in today's video. Max Verstappen is gearing up for a tough competition from various drivers and teams in the second half of the 2024 season. He mentioned that it's really unknown what's going to happen as the field keeps getting closer. Verstappen and Red Bull were unstoppable at the beginning of F1's latest ground effect era, clinching both world titles in 2022 and 2023. But this year, they've encountered much stronger competition. Four different teams and six different drivers have won races so far this season. Red Bull, Ferrari, McLaren and Mercedes have all claimed victories through Verstappen, Carlos Sainz, Charles Leclerc, Lando Norris, George Russell and Lewis Hamilton, respectively. Although Verstappen still holds a comfortable lead in the championship due to his remarkable consistency, four of the last seven wins have been shared among different driver and team combinations. The Dutchman is excited about the upcoming battles. During last weekend's Goodwood Festival of Speed, when asked if he is enjoying the closer competition at the front in F1, Verstappen responded by saying, For sure. We had some great years. Of course, this year also started off really competitively and now everyone's catching up a bit. Every race is a proper battle as well, so it's great. I think that theme will continue also for the rest of the season, so it's really unknown what is going to happen. And that's great for the sport. After relatively smooth runs to the title over the past two years, Verstappen is welcoming the added competition as he aims for his fourth consecutive world title. He said, I mean, in general, it's just great to have so many fantastic drivers in F1 and making it difficult to win. I think everyone was waiting for that as well, and that's definitely what F1 fans want. To have this is great between so many different teams as well. It's going to be a great rest of the year. Max Verstappen is aiming to win this weekend's Hungarian Grand Prix but has cautioned Red Bull that they need to put in some work after a challenging race in Silverstone. The Dutchman heads to the hunger roaring after going two races without a win for the first time since mid-2022. If he fails to secure victory this weekend, it would mark the first time Verstappen has gone three races without a win since 2021. McLaren and Mercedes are posing a serious threat to Red Bull with big developments, putting the Milton Keynes-based team's dominance in jeopardy. At Silverstone, both rivals showed stronger pace relegating Red Bull to an unusual third position in the pecking order. Verstappen recognises that Red Bull must extract more performance from the RB20 this weekend, especially at a circuit often likened to Monaco, but without the barriers. Hungary is an interesting track and we are looking forward to racing there this week, he said. The circuit is very narrow and twisty and has a very technical second sector. It will also be quite a bit warmer this week too. Silverstone was a tricky race for us, Although we made all the right calls, we still have a lot to work and improve on going into the second half of the season. In preparation for the 13th round of the campaign, Verstappen has been actively involved in positive simulator sessions and recently made his debut at the Goodwood Festival of Speed as part of a 20th anniversary Red Bull celebration. I have been back at the factory with the team on the sim preparing for the upcoming race, which has been good, Verstappen added. We have also been at Goodwood, marking 20 years of Red Bull and celebrating everyone who has been a part of the team's history. Finally, we had a brilliant race in Hungary last year and have good memories here as we achieved 12 wins in a row. Hopefully we can have a great race again this year and achieve another good team result. Despite Verstappen reaffirming his loyalty to Red Bull, followed by Christian Horner's assertion that the Dutchman only reinforces what they already know, Mercedes's consecutive wins in Austria and Silverstone has the paddock thinking that the tide might be turning, and this shift could potentially lead Verstappen to Mercedes. Following their Monaco upgrade to the W15, which included a flexi wing, Mercedes has achieved four consecutive top three finishes, with two of those being victories. Former F1 driver Christian Danner has called this Monaco upgrade the most important update in Mercedes history, suggesting it could be the key to luring Verstappen over. He shared this view with Motorsport magazine, where he said, You can analyse a car very well, what it can do and what it cannot do. That's why I think Verstappen knows exactly what he would face if he wanted to take this step. I think that is quite possible, and that's because we've now reached a point where everyone is waiting a bit. You Mercedes leave that spot open and you're still talking to Verstappen. And I think that the way the season is developing at the moment, that's a clear option for him. A move to Mercedes would pair Verstappen with long-time Mercedes driver George Russell. Verstappen has no concerns about teaming up with Russell, 
as he believes he's unbeatable against any competitor, and Christian Danner agrees with him. He doesn't just believe that he is better. In most cases, he shows it too, he said. It is often self-confidence, the way you convince yourself that you are unbeatable. That is psychology. I think he is convinced that if they can do it, I can do it for a long time. Robert Dornboss, the former Red Bull driver, has urged Verstappen to seriously consider joining Mercedes for next season. With the W15's improved performance, the Brackley-based team is now a more appealing option than at the start of the 2024 season. Dornboss believes this move would allow Verstappen to dominate again if Mercedes emerges as the best team under the new F1 2026 regulations. He said, I still believe he will go to Mercedes. We talk about 2026 because it's important to be with the team with the best engine. But I think Mercedes would rather have it happen in 2025 because then they can wave goodbye to one world champion and welcome another world champion. Since Mercedes didn't have a competitive car earlier in the year, it was a no-brainer for Max to stay with Red Bull next year, who were still quite dominant at that time. But that has suddenly changed. That could be due to all kinds of factors, such as the unrest within the team, the departure of Adrian Newey and a second driver, Sergio Perez, who is causing terrible headaches. There is simply a lot going on behind the scenes at Red Bull and at the same time, you see Mercedes becoming increasingly competitive. That team is on a serious streak. Max has to see whether Red Bull can still get things back on track or whether the wave the team was surfing on is over. In any case, it should not deteriorate much further. In principle, Max still has a contract, but in my opinion, Max should seriously consider whether he should join Mercedes before 2025. If Mercedes really turns out to be that good, he could have a great gap year at Mercedes next year and then dominate again from 2026. While speaking to the media, Mercedes team boss Toto Wolff can't help but name drop Verstappen once again. He has decided to use a little reverse psychology on the defending champion, saying that he should not contemplate a move to the Silver Arrows until the team can establish themselves as a compelling alternative to Red Bull. He said, We need two to crash at the front to win at the moment. I think we still need to look at ourselves and say, what can we do in order to have a car that is able to race with these two at the front and do it more regularly? And I think this is a moment where we can say that we can be or harbour port or destination for the best drivers, including Max. But we're not there yet. So if I was him, I wouldn't be considering such a move. Yet. Should a Mercedes move fail to materialise for Verstappen, Toto Wolff has another trick up his sleeve. Kimi Antonelli, widely regarded as one of motorsport's brightest prospects, is strongly rumoured to make his F1 debut in 2025. As a Mercedes junior driver, he is heavily linked to the Silver Arrows, who are seeking a replacement for Lewis Hamilton. Despite this, the team's technical chief, James Allison, believes that stepping into the shoes of the seven-time world champion will be a daunting challenge for Antonelli. He said, It's a huge ask but I think if the talent is there, it won't matter. When Lewis first got into an F1 car, I think a lot of people had the same concerns. Can Mercedes be seen as a threat with an unproven rookie driving their car? Or are they better off waiting for Verstappen to realise that Red Bull is on a downward spiral? Tell us what you think in the comments section down below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching.